I'm Mackenzie Murphy, and this is how I cut in a top knot. To begin this top knot, I'm going to spray into the coat Artero Static Control. This is an anti-static scissoring spray that will add a little volume to the coat without leaving it feeling sticky like a hairspray. To set up my top knot for trimming, I will comb the whole thing forward over the eyes and also part it down the middle. I will lay a curved shear over the bridge of the nose. Pay close attention to the angle that you hold the shear for this part. You'll want to hold it at a slight angle away from the dog's eyes. I'm going to slide the shear over the bridge of the nose, grabbing all of the hair that's falling down in front of the eyes. I am going to scissor over the bridge of the nose towards the corner of the eye. Point the tip of the shear towards the corner of the eye. I'm going to flip the shear around in my hand and scissor towards the corner of the opposite eye, cutting in a small visor. I am using an 8 inch Groomer Essentials curved shear, as well as a 7.5 inch Groomer Essentials fine finishing comb. Once we have our visor set, now we're going to scissor from the corner of the eye to the front corner of the ear. Make sure the bottom blade of your shear is following right along your clipper work line. Flip your shear around in your hand and do the same thing to the other side. Follow your clipper work line and scissor from the outside corner of the eye to the front corner of the ear. Now we're going to trim from the front corner of the ear up over the bulb of the ear, finishing the back side of the ear. You want to open your blade wide. Make sure that what you have in your shear is only hair and not ear. So I give it a little shake and make sure that I only have hair and I'm going to trim over the ear right towards the back of the top knot. We're just continuing the line from the corner of the eye to the front corner of the ear and now from the front corner of the ear back over the ear so it's one straight clean line. Now I'm going to reset my top knot. I'm going to comb everything forward and also part it down the middle like we did in the beginning. You'll be able to see where you have hair hanging over the ledges of the lines that you just created. You can see on this side, there's a ledge of coat that I'm trimming off right along the top of my top knot. For your next step, you'll want to comb your entire top knot all the way over to one side. Doing this, we'll be able to see really nicely if we have any hair hanging over that we want to get out of the way. Here's that ledge I was talking about. You can see it from the corner of the eye all the way back across the entire top knot. Now for the other side. We'll comb everything all the way over and you'll see a nice ledge across the entire top knot again. There it is. Make sure you're flipping your shears around in your hand as you're moving from side to side. And we're just going to keep tipping whatever hair we see hanging over our ledge. The more you comb, the more well-rounded of a trim you're going to end up with. As you've noticed, we've only been scissoring our top knot from the front. We've been scissoring the visor from the eyes back to the very back of the ear, but that's as far as we've gone. You only want to trim the hair you can see. So for right now, we're going to be doing the front of the top knot. We're almost finished, and then we'll hop around the back side of the dog and finish the back of the top knot from behind. Now for the back of our top knot. I'm going to stand at the back side of the dog and make sure that I have the tip of the ear secured in my non-dominant hand. For this part, I'm going to flip my curve shear around in my hand in reverse using the back side of my curve shear. Lay the shear over the ear. Line it up with the side of the top knot that we just cut in. Now holding the ear forward, we will scissor from the side of the neck, carving out around the back of the ear, up over the ear, finishing where we left off along the side of our top knot. I'm going to comb all my neck hair now, part it down the middle, and comb everything out to the side. You can see a huge ledge of coat all the way down the neck. I'm still using the back side of the curved shear, and I'm going to scissor along the side of the top knot all the way down the side of the neck this way. 
Flipping your curb shears around in your hand is a fun technique to achieve different shapes. Now I'm going to use the shear the right way, flipping the curb around. I'm going to scissor down the neck the same way that we have been doing, but this time I'm going to allow the tip of the shear to wrap around the back side of our top knot. Give everything a good comb through now and look for any hair hanging out of place. For a nice symmetrical trim, whatever you do to one side, you'll want to do to the other. I'll go back over my work now and make sure everything is clean and the way that I'd like it. And there you have it. That's how I scissor in my top knots.